Hello everyone, so this is a tutorial to show you how to import correctly biped animations with root motion into Unreal. So, first I'm going to export this mesh and three animations. I'm going to export it. Three animations into Unreal. So, I'm going to use this mesh. I'm going to use a run forward animation. Let me set the time correctly. This other animation that has a walk left and this animation a jump forward jump run does have vertical root motion like this one so let me export this again. Jump run. Now the main problem that the biped has is that the root motions are stored in the center of gravity bone, which is the bone right here in the center of the biped. Most of character controllers or character rigs have the root motion right here on the waist. So the main problem is that we have rotations that look like this. We have movement in the Y axis like this right here if we set the view you will see that the root goes down even though the line on the ground stays the same so back into unreal i'm going to import the drake Perfect. This one right here does not have animation because it's the base mesh. And I'm going to import the animations. This right here. And we are using the same skeleton. We are not using the mesh. And we're going to use only the the animations import all. Now let's do with the run. Right now everything looks great here in Unreal. If I select the skeleton, you will see that the root is on the center with this rotation right here, not in the base. What happens if I enable root motion? He made a weird rotation and if I show the root motion right here, he goes up and we do not want that. Same happened with all the animations. We have a jump around. I'm going to enable root motion. He's jumping and if we loop it, he's doing anything but the things we want him to do. So how can we solve this? We need to create a root bone that is on the base of the character and it has the correct rotations and position. So back to 3ds Max, I have created a script that you will find in the description that can fix that problem. Now, it's this script right here. It's called bit root bone and you can add it 
to your 3ds max and find it later here on the toolbars main ui find the root bone category and you can drag it here let me remove it and now let me import the base mesh for the drake the first time i'm going to add the animation i'm going to add the mesh to the scene Once I have added it, let's see, report back. I'm going to remove all the keys. Right here, I have a movement. I have some buttons. You can remove position, rotation, and scale keys. I'm going to go to the Explorer. I'm going to remove this root bone that is not working for me. And right here, I'm going to find which is the center of gravity for the biped, which this is this CG bone. Let me remove all the keys. And I'm going to create a new root. Once I do this, you will see that we have a root bone in the base and the CG bone is parented to that root bone. Now, go, going back to Unreal, I'm going to export it with this new root bone. And that's it. Now, I'm going to remove again this root bone. I'm going to import the first animation, which is the run, but only the animation because I don't want a duplicated meshes. Once I do this, you'll see that he's moving forward with the correct rotations, but inside in 3DX Max. So we need the root bone to move. With in the base with the correct animation. So again, I'm going to select all of the keys. I'm going to remove the scale because for some reason scale keys in Unreal cause issues. And I'm going to hit this button right here. It's create a new root using the CG bone. Remember, it needs to have the same name. And once I do this. You'll see that the root, if I set this pivot to local, you'll see that he's moving forward. And here on the base, it's not going down on or up. And the CG bone is set right here in the perfect spot. So we need to update that animation let's export it let's export it back with the wrong animations let's try the second one again I need to remove the root bone and import the next animation which will be the walk left Going to update only the animation and this one right here has also rotation besides the animation so I'm going to keep up the rotation and I'm going to create a new root once I do this you'll see the root in the local he going to is going to have the correct rotation and the movement and the siege bone is attached to that root. Perfect. Again, I'm going to select everything. I'm going to remove the scale 
rotations, the scale keys, I'm going to update that FBX with the walk left. And now finally with the last one, again, I need to remove the root because the animation does not have that root bone. And the last one animation has root motion, but in the Z axis, in the vertical position. So this is, this one is a bit tricky. You'll see if I select the CG, it goes up and forward. Now, I don't see any rotation, it's going forward only, so we don't need to save the rotation keys. Now, CG bone is the same name, perfect. What happens if I create a new root? The root stays on the ground, and the CG bone goes up, but I need the root to go over also when the CG bone is going up. So I'm going to undo this and I'm going to keep up the up position. So if I hit create new root again, the root is going up also. But here's a little problem that I found. Once I do this, if I go to another view, you see that the root, since it's keeping the same distance from the CG bone, is going down on the ground. And I don't want that. I want to keep the same line, the same level here. And once he goes like this position, I want to keep this this move movement in the Z axis on the vertical axis. And right when he's landing, I want to end it right here. I don't want to keep this grounded Z vertical position. So how can we solve this? First, we need to duplicate this root bone. So I'm going to duplicate it, hitting Control V. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to modify in the graph editor, in the curve editor, I'm going to modify the Z positions. I'm going to remove these keys that go below the ground. I'm going to zero it to zero right here. Oh, even better, I'm going to remove this. I'm hitting delete. And this one right here, I'm going to set it to zero. And this keys, I'm going to remove the tangent, so I'm going to set it to linear. And same goes to this part. I'm going to set this to zero. And I'm going to remove this keys, but the last one. And also, I'm going to remain. I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to remove it. And I'm going to set it to linear. Now this is a correct root motion with the vertical axis. All I need to do now is to reparent this CG bone to this root, new root uh, bone. But if I only do this, I don't, I'm not going to have the, the correct results. So you see right here, the fits are not perfect in the ground. So that's not the solution. I'm going to hit Control Z to undo that. And now I'm going to reparent with this script. I'm going to reparent this one, this bone, the CG bone, to the root new bone with the correct position. So I'm going to select the new root. I'm going to select the node or the bone. And I'm going to hit parent. And this will make some calculations and we'll make the correct root motion. Now I can remove this old one right here and you will see that this root is doing the perfect position. So right here and the feet are staying in the correct place and we have a vertical root motion. Another important thing to do is to 
have the correct name once we export also again select everything before exporting and remove the scale keys now one last time i'm going to export and i'm going to update this animation right here save i remember all the animations have the correct position the root the correct bones the root and then the cg back into unreal we need to update these animations or we can remove it and import it back again but i'm going to update it so since we are using in the asset details we have the correct import information file path right here i'm going to simply hit the rain port base mesh And this will give me some warnings because the bone structure has changed right here. Failed to merge bones. I'm going to ignore this. I'm going to hit yes to all. Yes, yes, everything is okay. Don't worry. So right now here, you will see that we have the new root bone. But the animations does not have those. So we need to go here in the jump run, walk left. I'm going to hit reimport again with the new updates that I made in 3DX Max. And that will apply the new root bone to those animations. And now, if I check right here, you'll see when I hit play and I'm seeing, okay, let me re-import the animation. Well, the root is showing. Let me close this and open it back again. Okay, now we have it. We have the correct root motion. Let me see the loop. Let me open another animation. We have the root, it's going forward perfectly. And if I open walk left, and hit here. Okay, we need to set the enable root motion. Carter, animation loop. He's doing the perfect root motion animation with the correct file. So that is how you can fix biped root motion from 3DX Max into Blend, into Unreal. So I hope this helps and see you on the next video.